My name is Carol Kentner. My project is Hackademic. The project is about gathering information from students in terms of their mobile app use around managing all of their electronic content for their courses and research and taking that information and um, centralizing it so that other students that may be new to the use of mobile devices or apps can kind of quickly look and see the basic footprint of apps that other students have used um, which will help them save time in terms of figuring out what to use because the app market is so big there's hundreds of thousands of them out there could take a long time to figure out what apps to use. So it's a good starting point for those students that are kind of entering into the mobile domain. When they go to the app uh, board, it has apps clustered in three groups. One is the group of apps that you use for collecting your um, electronic content. The second is a group of apps around um, those that you need to create content. And then the third is the group of apps that you would use to consume. And, and then they just press you know, one of those three buttons, collect, consume, or create, and they'll see a different cluster of apps. The student to student kind of sharing of that information is really probably the best solution for us. And that's what Hackademic seeks to do is provide information from one set of students to those new students just entering into that zone. When they come here, they're kind of, um, pure consumers. They're bringing to us their experience from the retail end, you know, iTunes or what movies they download, what services they use at home. And some of that will map over to their academic life and some of it won't. And to fill in those gaps, <laughs> you know, on the fly is probably very stressful in addition to a whole host of other stresses that they're undergoing at the start of the school year. So having this, you know, kind of proven set of apps, um, to drive to pretty quickly, I'm thinking is a th thumbs up. <laughs> I'm hoping it is. <laughs>